APC presidential primary shaky. Aspirants confused as jacketing Nigeria president Buhari jets off to Malabo on three day visit. So I don't expect the Nigerians to be bothered about say, these people. And Buhari is not even bothered because, like the APC chairman said, they are already concluded on how to go with the consensus. They already know who is going to be there. So all those are who just bought forms, they just bought forms so that in case the person gets there, all of them might even be playing games. So they will give them one ministerial appointment or the other. So Buhari can never be bothered. Not at all. So they already have their plans in place. President Mohamed Buhari will depart Abuja on Thursday to participate in the African Union Extraordinary Session of Assembly of Heads of State and Government in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. Hmm. Buhari has been criticized in the past for his frequent travels while critical issues in the country like security and poverty are left unattended. Gabashi, with the president's senior special assistant on media and publicity, in a statement said the three-day summit, which we hold between May 26th and 28th, will focus on humanitarian challenges in Africa with related issues on migration, refugees, returnees, and internally displaced persons. The statement read, President Muhammadu Buhari will depart Abuja on Thursday, May 26th, 2022 to participate in African Union Extraordinary Session of Assembly of Heads of State and Government in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, with special focus on security. The three-day summit, which we hold on May 26 to 28, will also focus on humanitarian challenges in Africa, with related issues on migration, refugees, returnees, and internally displaced persons. At the summit, the African leaders will look at the terrorism and unconstitutional change of government with attendance as a spiraling effect of on human rights and economies. President Buhari will join other heads of state and government to deliberate on humanitarian challenges, hopes and challenges in Africa and participate in adoption and assembly declaration of humanitarian summit and pledging conference. On security and governance, the Assembly of Heads of State and Government of the African Union will take a united position on terrorism and unconstitutional change of government and reach agreements on new approaches to stem the tide. President Buhari will also hold sideline meetings with some leaders during the meeting in Malabo. Mrs. Aisha Buhari, who is the president of African First Lady's Peace Mission is accompanying her husband to the African Union meeting. Wow! <laughs> the president will also be accompanied by Minister of Foreign Affairs Godfrey Oyema, Minister of Defense Major General Bashar Salihi Magashi, retired Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development Sadia Umar Farouk, National Security Advisor Major General Baba Ghana Wogono, retired. Director General National Intelligence Agency Ambassador Rufai Abubakar and Chairman Nigerians in Diaspora and Commission Abibike Dabiri Erewa. His latest trip comes three days before the All Progressives Congress APC presidential primary election. The APC had scheduled Sunday 29th, Monday to Monday 30th of May 2022 for the primary. The party has, however, been silenced on the screening date for the presidential aspirants. According to the timetable of the party, the screening ought to have taken place on May 14th and 15th. However, the party only screened governorship, senatorial and House of Representatives aspirants and announced May 23rd as the date for screening of the presidential aspirants. However, the event failed to hold as announced. The National Working Committee, NWC, of the party is expected to conclude primary activities before June 3rd as prescribed by the Independent National Electoral Commission. The Malabo trip Sahar reporters gathered has led to more confusion among the aspirants. According to them, the president's departure will cause more chaos and dysfunctionality. Aspirants are saying Buhari's departure will, which had been planned will cause more dysfunctionality considering that till now no known screening is 
going on. They are confused. They don't even know when they will be screened, nor the mode of primary. The national chairman of the APC, Senator Abdullahi Abdamu, had had a meeting with the president yesterday, but we don't even know the outcome yet. We are not even sure. Maybe the primary we hold as scheduled. No screening. Three days to the exercise, a source said. All of you are just deceiving yourself. You deceive yourself because you already know. You know that uh, they already have a plan on who is going to be there. So all those things, all these forms that you guys just bought, uh, just for formality's sake, why won't you be bothered? Uh, this is the kind of man. I, I, you, you wonder how this man runs his home. It's just unfortunate. Those who are not even fit to be, to be anywhere, because of a, you know, the, like they always say the in the town of a. A blind people, somebody who has a one eye will be will be the king. So that is just it. So when you have people like that in that area, you know, you see when you see Amajiri voting for them, you know they will tell you they have a billions of votes. So you know the caliber of people they have been deceiving. So that's that's what, and the politicians who are from the north, southern part of the country, all those ones, eh, they be a jegudu jera. All these are fun, mm -hmm. stomach infrastructure, those ones. They, are, they, are, they can fall for anything. Otherwise, I will have a, the vice president who is a professor of law. Uh, where read, where spoken, where the man speaks, where, where articulated. Uh -uh. Is it possible? You begin to ask yourself if uh, Oshibajo in a, in a work, in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a company setting, whether that kind of a thing can happen. Not to talk of a country, a sovereign country, a sovereign state. Somebody who is a professor of law will not be assistant to somebody who is a school staff. Ah, how, how, how? You begin to wonder. It's, it's evidence. And that's why things are not moving on. Things are not moving on. It's, it's evidence. That's why we are, not, we are not getting it at all. It's just unfortunate. We are not getting it at all. They can travel what they want. We just pray that all their plan will not come to pass. Because if somebody, if Buarina wants to impose somebody on Nigerians, that means... Uh -huh. Now wow, now why be that? Now why, now why be that? It's just, it's just unfortunate. Now why, now it would be that. Bari doesn't want to fight for any aspirants. He has taken his turn of the presidency. The aspirants are on their, they are on their own, of, of course. How is it, uh, shaky? Bari will not even vote in the primary election. It is not the presidency that is conducting the election. You don't know what you are saying. Hmm. The president in Africa is Buhari. Many African country wishes Buhari was their president because he's trusted integrity. Oh my God! Can you see all this? Uh, they would call them Mugu. Wonder shall never end. Hmm. Which African countries? If I may ask, at the end of the day, they will just go and just to go and register. I don't understand because all their efforts, all their meeting, it has not yielded positive results. Everything is just still upside down. When you take a look at the whole Africa, apart from Ghana, that is, it's even trying. They are even trying. You see, maybe South Africa and there's okay. Um, this uh, there's one of uh, one of these uh, country that is just doing well. That is just the, the not quite long. They had a war or so. This Southern Sudan or something like that. I know, I don't, I don't think so. But the the country. He say he's doing well. The president is doing well. But what do we have? We all of them. Nigeria say we well, see we the one that is coordinating all the Africans that are not doing well. It's just unfortunate. Somebody is telling us a hey, cock and stories. Buhari may shock those seek for support. Buhari APC has fed Nigeria. Buhari travel out to avoid any embarrassment ahead of APC presidential primary. Is this Buhari in a tourism competition with anybody, or he just want to enter? Into the Guinea Guinness Book uh, World Record as the most traveling president, or want to be remembered by Nigeria as the mobile president, <laughs> whichever way. So, guys, let's say your opinion on this.